Stefan, let's start with, of course, the big news of this week, what Joe was just talking about, uh, the, the J&J vaccine and the safety uh, concerns around those six reports of these serious but rare blood clots. You've looked into your data. Uh, your vaccine has been given to millions of people. Do you see any similar risk uh, of blood clots or any kind of safety event with your vaccine as of now? Uh, good morning, Meg. Uh, indeed, we are following very closely the safety as we should and are in constant dialogue with the CDC and the FDA. And indeed, uh, we put a statement out yesterday that we looked at the data of 64.5 million doses that have been administered to people around the world, and we have not seen any data suggesting any association with blood clotting or thrombotic events. What is your interpretation of um, sort of the FDA's move here? There was a lot of criticism yesterday that this would lead to vaccine hesitancy. Um, a lot of messaging also that because we had not seen this with the mRNA vaccines, you know, people will be encouraged to get those um, as this gets worked out with the J&J &J vaccine. But are you concerned about hesitancy about vaccines as a result of this situation? I actually believe quite the opposite. Uh, if you think about it, this is yet another proof to the American people that we have the best regulatory agency in the world and they care deeply about the scientific uh, and medical safety of a product. And they will take any signals, like we saw last fall, if you remember, some companies had pause on their clinical trials because the FDA wanted to proceed safely. I think you see the same thing. So I think it will just show again to the American people that the FDA will not hesitate to be very cautious, to analyze the data, to take the time required to do so, to protect the safety of the American people. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.